Sometimes when you sit down with a game, you have an expectation. The more you play, the more you recognize, the more you know to assume. I looked at Battle Princess of Arcadia's, I saw the multi-segmented sprites, I saw the planar combat, I saw the huge boss, and I immediately thought, oh, this is Nipponichi's attempt at Odin Sphere, how cute. And then I played more of it, and I wanted to go back in time to slap myself in the head. Fortunately, through the power of editing, I can do just that. Like the last few generations of Pokemon, there's a novelty in smashing up types, or in this case genres, that haven't really gone together before. It doesn't matter if it's Golurk, Inky, or Mega Sceptile, you put them together just because no one else has before, and it's interesting. In much the same vein, Battle Princess of Arcadia's is, and I never thought I'd say this, it's a tactical side-scrolling beat-em-up. And normally this is where I drop the standard Lewis Black, I'll repeat that spiel, but honestly, I can't even muster it right now because I've been trying to wrap my head around this thing. So it looks like Odin Sphere on a basic level, but Odin Sphere didn't have an armed conflict going on behind you that you had to control, did it? That's this game's shtick. Not only are you leading a band of highly skilled warriors into battle, but you might also be leading a battalion of other fighters, fighting either directly alongside you or in a background plane. Stay with me now. As the battled princess, or one of her cohort, you're not only responsible for staying alive in your own fight, but you also have to issue commands to your legion so as to react to whatever your foes are up to. This expends morale, which is the closest you've got to army MP, and which can be bolstered by routing enemy squads or using your player character to slay the designated leader enemies they'll be encountering. They bonus if said player character uses the same weapon as the fighters they're leading. It's a lot to process, especially because these are not two genres that get mashed together, like, ever. And it's a huge freaking paradigm shift. So not only do you have to survive, you've got to be monitoring the action in the background, or rather the gauges at the bottom of the screen, know when to put them on the offensive, when to go on the defensive, and when to switch that squad out for one of the up to four others you can bring. But not every encounter is a massive skirmish like this. Sometimes you're just bringing one team, led by a few of the named PCs, against a massive boss. Much like before, you're controlling them in real time while fighting the monster yourself, giving commands to influence the pace of battle, or if necessary, send your side off the battlefield to regroup while you hold the beast at bay. Even more stages play much like your standard side-scrolling beat-em-ups, where your only concern is slaying foes and scoring EXP. Yes, it's true. I came in expecting Odin Sphere, but I ended up playing some strange hybrid of Code of Princess and Indra Union. If you got that reference, give yourself a gold star and a cold beer, because you're gonna need it. Between more than a dozen moves for each of ten characters, inventory slots, weapons, weapon upgrades, weapon parameter unlocks, army levels, resource collection, there's a hell of a lot to keep straight, and the difficulty curve is curl up into the fetal position brutal. On a couple occasions, I ran up against armies that significantly outleveled me, requiring a healthy dose of good old-fashioned grinding. Fortunately, you can go back into old battlefields and try to improve your rank on those fights, yielding bragging rights as well as material spoils. <laughs> Graphics might not be vanillaware tier, but they've got a lot of character and are animated quite well, especially in battle. The vocal performance is well acted and quite extensive. Almost every line of dialogue in the game is read aloud, though only in Japanese. The soundtrack swings wildly between genres, from classical harpsichords in the city center to thick bass to Guilty Gear-esque rock when gets real. Battle Princess of Arcadius may appear as a novelty at first, but don't take her, or it, lightly. It's a whole lot of action here, but you just might need to take a hack saw to your corpus colossum to understand it all. Oh. 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 Oh.